For nearly two centuries, the Brazos River has been a cornerstone of Texas. Over 1,200 miles flow through the state, providing an essential source of water for the many communities that have settled along its banks. The Brazos currently supplies 30% of Sugarland's water. In the future, that number will increase to 60%. So, how does the water from your faucet go from this to becoming the best tasting water in America? The answer, Sugarland Surface Water Treatment Plant. The plant can deliver 9 million gallons of water per day. Here's how. Water from the Brazos is diverted into Oyster Creek. Which then is moved into two raw storage ponds. These two raw water storage ponds can hold 27 million gallons of water. Water is moved from the storage ponds into the Flockset facility. Here, the water undergoes flocculation where a coagulant is added that attracts particles together forming flock. The flock sinks to the bottom of the tank while clear water rises to the top. This allows for higher rates of disinfection, which means clean, safe water. The clarified water is then moved for further treatment. The sludge on the bottom is moved to the raw sludge thickener for processing and disposal. The clarified water is filtered using low pressure membranes. Membrane filtration is superior to conventional methods of filtration due to the 0.1 micron pore size that blocks pathogens from passing through. Water is then filtered using granular activated carbon. These tanks are similar to water filters you may use in your home, except much larger. The carbon traps certain compounds that can affect taste and odor. The treated surface water is moved to groundwater plants where it is blended with treated well water. Then the water is pumped to storage tanks before being distributed throughout Sugarland. The water is tested for metals, minerals, bacteriological compounds, volatile organic compounds, disinfectant byproduct compounds, and radiological compounds. This process provides the city with award-winning water, but just as important are the men and women that work to keep the plant operational. So, next time you enjoy a glass of Sugarland water, give a toast to those that made it possible. We'll drink to that! <laughs>